you know, Kristen Chenoweth is a joy. Singing and kicking and those crazy runs, you know, those soprano runs that only, only Kristen Chenoweth can do that. We came up with like nine different things for that moment. There was one time I was just doing squats with her on my shoulders. We were like, no, that doesn't work. I, uh, I lifted her over my head in sort of a press. Uh, and we we're like, ah, that's a little, it doesn't look quite it. And then we did this. And Scott Ellis, our director, was like, that's it. Well, you know, it's the incantation of the poetic. It conjures itself. You start breathing and living it, treating the other actors the way you're supposed to and responding. And it, it brings something up. I think that, for me, the main thing about the Robin style is he was a storyteller. Uh, you see that in obviously in his musicals, and Broadway musicals, but also in his ballets. And so I knew that the, the way to honor Jerome Robbins was to tell the right story with the dancing. This character and what we're doing in this show, the Gershwin, this is a real great fit for me, a real natural fit. And I've never done a Gershwin show. I've never done an old, an old school kind of musical that we really just all just jumped in. I asked Robbie for advice. He helps me with turnout and how my fingers should be. And he'll ask me about phrasing or something musical. I mean, I never believed I'd be stood here answering questions from journalists and it's something I, I never dreamed of. Of course, you know, I, it's been a dream of mine to be in a musical. I never thought I'd be in one on Broadway. Uh, Chris and I get along really well. We have a lot of fun in the studio and he's, he's so open and he comes into the room not, I think he does it differently in, in different parts of, of the show, but for like the pot it is, he had a completely blank slate. Um, <laughs> but I think in a way it's almost better that there aren't YouTube clips and, and movie versions of her doing it to try and copy because I could never hope to be as wonderful as Betty Compton. It doesn't feel effortless. I feel like we come off in the wings and we're huffing and puffing. I was so honored that the drama desk actually singled out Gay Wellington for uh, a, a nomination. Every uh, role now I'm going to look for a staircase and a gin bottle. I get to experience that one day over and over and over again. So, you know, like Groundhog said, you start at the beginning and you just go on the journey. It's a great part about, about the way Brian has written this show. A lot of it, obviously, you know, it's got to be on the page first. It's got to be there. Um, and then as we were in rehearsal, you know, you just sort of find who this guy is. Where I get to just channel all these fabulous things, which is basically me at the age of 12 in my bedroom, dropping the needle on the album and being in a big Broadway musical. They are the character. Greg Barnes. What's so amazing about Greg is not only is he just incredibly talented and designs beautiful clothes, but he's incredibly collaborative. And right from the very beginning, he said, here are my ideas. Tell me what you think. And he's so open to like, well, what about this and what about that? And he wants us to feel good. And uh, obviously, I feel good wearing those clothes. We're all on the same page. We all kind of understand the functions of what we're doing. We all get and love the show, so there's no one off in the corner kind of playing their own game. And I think that helps in terms of allowing for chemistry to continue to grow. Well, I just met Helen Mirren, okay, who I've never met before. That was really exciting. She was lovely. And it did feel, I don't know whether to curtsy or not. <laughs> we do feel alone. Anything regarding Sideshow, I feel like Emily should be by my side. This was a play where you knew people were having feelings and you could hear it in their guests and their sides and sometimes they would talk back to you and about 90% of our audiences stayed for talkbacks. Darren Goldstein was the odd man out but that meant he got to have a dressing room all to himself while the rest of us had to share. How to make sure that this, this story of propulsion never stops, how everything is a vista, how we watch all these changes um, just, just as a country law. And the events are so, so huge that it just demanded the whole team really coming together to create a fluidity where one thing just naturally flowed into the next thing. Madame du Maurier. She's crusty in the beginning, but thank you. I, I tried to I tried to find a way to make her story believable and and uh, interesting to the drama, but uh, I can really relate to her. Well, I've had to change my lifestyle a lot, actually, honestly. I, I used to smoke, obviously, that's so I shouldn't be doing that anyway, so uh, it's good that I gave that. But giving up alcohol, really? when, I, yeah, when I eat, I haven't had a drink since Christmas Day. When I eat, what I eat, how much I sleep, everything, everything is geared around that three hours of the performance. People ask me how old I am quite a lot. Uh, you know, I'm obviously young looking. 
and to God and Wayside Motor Inn. And, you know, I would see them both as, as, as challenged individuals with very strong idealism, and that idealism gets very much tested during the course of the play. I was not trained initially as a singer. I was an actor when I came to this town. I love doing every second of that. And as I, as I understand it, I think I was on stage seven minutes. I think. Really kind of wild comic antics to really sincere, quiet little moments. And, and to have all of that written into one role is is sort of an actor's dream come true, at least for a, a, a comic character y, leading managed, you know, hybrid like me. The show, it feels like spring in my life, uh, which is a lot to say because I've been around a bit. That a dream role can can come along that you didn't even know was a dream role. Oh, yeah, that's how I feel. You know? Yeah. It's, it feels miraculous. I'm, over the moon. <laughs>